Hello, this is easy, and um, I'm going to be going over this uh, macro here, and we'll reload them all, and this is for the Z Modeler. Now, this is an update. I'm going to be going over these two brushes here. It's called Cycle 3 brushes. All right, these are actually a group of brushes, these two right here, and I'm going to be going over these, and some tips. It's really uh, helpful. Uh, I will have a link below the video. Um, it'll take you actually to another video and get more in-depth about the other uh, buttons next thing there will also be an area over there where you can download this uh, macro so let's get started let's go ahead and load the uh, rest here and in a new version we have now have names for these brushes that we can see a lot better because this, this text down here is actually kind of small to see so that's one thing that's kind of improved in this uh, update here so if we go to the macro here and we're going to do the cycle brush all right now this will let you cycle up to three times if i press here you can see it said the key mesh it was already set on there but i'll press it again scale and inset if i did it again it's going to repeat itself key mesh scale and inset this is a lot quicker than having to right click and select something right click and select something else and this is actually a lot quicker all right so uh if i go to the uh this one here this will cycle through the same three okay now i'm going to show you how to edit these in just a second so um what i like doing is setting up hotkeys instead of using the uh letters i like to use the scroll mouse wheel because it's extremely fast and everything's in my right hand and i don't have to look down at the keyboard when i'm doing this so i'm gonna hit the control key alt key and click and i'm going to drag the scroll mouse wheel down when it asks me for the key all right now you can see it says mouse wheel now now i need to make one for this button here so control alt key, alt key click and I'm going to drag the mouse wheel up after I let both of the control and alt key. See, I got mouse wheel up and mouse wheel down. So if I come over here, as you can see right here, if I, I'm using, going to use my scroll mouse wheel on my left hand here, and it's going to cycle through the names and these are my little brushes. Okay. You can have up to six different brushes well I like to use you know pretty much you know it's preference if you want to use the same one for up and down that's fine um, you can mismatch these whatever so I'm going to show you how to change these up and don't worry if it's real simple if you still don't understand I'll just go here and like I said these scripts are the same so if I open this up what we want to pay attention is we have three lines here one with the Z monitor right here Q mesh scale and that's it I need to go find out which brush do I like you cycling through and which one I like so if we go to the brush see my polygons let's say I like to use crease a lot I'm gonna select here right click I'm not gonna really name rename it but I'm gonna press rename and I'm going to just copy the text and I'm only copying the text name not the M pref prefix Z BP so if I open this back up and say I don't want to use scale I'm going to drag across here and be very careful how you do this not to get anything else besides the text then I'm going to control V that and paste the crease in there close that and press save if if you mess up make sure you keep your zip file and keep a backup of it because if you do something wrong in there it will not load when you press the macro reload if you press reload and one of these buttons are gone it's probably because you did something so crease was one of mine so I'm going to drag down and there it is there's crease you can see right here I'm using the scroll mouse wheel up and we don't get no crease until I move the scroll mouse wheel down alright like I said I like using that on the scroll mouse wheel because I don't have to uh, look down at my keys to see all this well let's say hey I kinda really don't want to do any scripting I'm 
it kind of confuses me. Well, there's another way that you can do this. Let's say we're going to pick Add Curve. And I'm going to just go over this first one here with you real quick. This will let you toggle between two. Okay, Add Curve. This is my first, that's primary. I'm going to click here. And Bevel. Macro. Press the number one. That's my secondary. Now I'm going to change my uh, macro hotkeys up here. So I'm going to, as you can see, I have the mouse wheel down and the mouse wheel up. I want to change this one. So I'm going to control P click and drag up. It's asking me to write it, so I'll write it. And if I drag up, you can see I got bevel and add to curve. Now if I drag down, it cycles between three brushes. Now I got practically five brushes. Well, I know that's a little too much for me. And that's why you got to be very careful. So I just want to cycle between three without having to strip. So, well, let's go to macro here. And remember, this one here is the mouse wheel up. We want to use just one for the mouse wheel down all right this has got two in it already and we already got a hot key for it so we want to use the mouse wheel down not up so let's go here and let's select split i'm going to use control alt clean click and i'm going to use the mouse wheel down it's going to ask me to write it and when i press down it says split and if I drag up, add the curve, bevel. If I drag up, add the curve, bevel, drag down with the mouse wheel, and split. Now I have three different brushes that I can cycle through without having to uh, do any kind of editing any scripts. Uh, you can mismatch this with a scroll mouse wheel. Uh, you could, you know, set up hotkey for mouse wheel up for one and mouse wheel down for the other and that way you'll just have two that you can cycle through um, there's a lot of stuff that you can mismatch these little buttons through with a hot key and the mouse wheels I had pause the video and put everything back at default my brushes and my scripts kind of give you a demonstration how this is going to work um, I do still have it set up with the scroll mouse wheel to cycle between three brushes if I move it up or down now I know on the scale here, as you can see over here, um, there's a settings I don't like. So for this to happen, I need to go over polygon, not an edge. I want to say it's a polygon. Um, so I'm going to right click here and click center. So once that's set, every time it goes to scale, it's going to have that setting while I have this loaded. So what's the first thing I want to do is uh, I'm just going to use the scroll mouse wheel to get through the cycle to the brush I want to use. So let's click out of here. And click here and here and here and here. What do I want to do next? Instead of having to right click, all I also have to do is just use the scroll mouse wheel and we'll click here and here. What do I want to do next? Alright, we'll do that right there. And let's go ahead and we'll do the scale here. Just, I'm just using the scroll mouse wheel. With the uh, kind of traditional way, you'd actually have to right click a lot. So if I, you know, as you can see I have a key mesh here and I just use the scroll mouse wheel how fast it is. It's just that quick. And um, basically if you had to do it the traditional way, you'd have to right click, key mesh, and do something else. Come over here, right click, inset, and do something else. Um, you can speed up the workflow a lot better. or I. To me, you can with the scroll mouse wheel and just cycle between the brushes rather than right clicking. And just a little note here anytime um, you're messing with these brushes, um, it's best not to change the polygon action. As you can see, we want a correspond scale. We'll scale here and not change that. Um, especially if you're saving your brushes, just a little tip.
I had paused the video and did one last adjustment to the script. It's this new edit brush. As you can see, if I use my scroll mouse wheel, I am still cycling through three different brushes. Um, with the edit brush, will allow you to uh, edit the brush, and that way uh, you don't have to set up uh, some more hotkeys, and you can just edit brush on the fly. So if I was by default, it set it Q mesh. If I right click here, now I said before on all the other brushes, you do not want to change a polygon action. For the edit brush, you can. So if we want to press bevel here, all right, now I hoover over the face here, it says bevel. So anytime that I cycle through here with my scroll mouse wheel, and I go to edit, now it says bevel. We can always change this anytime we want. If I turn it to split, then I cycle through my brushes. Anytime I go to edit, now it's gonna say split. Now, once you uh, go to the macros here, and low brushes again it's going to set all the brushes back at default if you do any um editing and for some reason you edit the wrong brush um you can load everything back at the default so remember the edit was uh q mesh at default so if i hoover my mouse over here you can see it's back at default so basically what i'm saying is this is the only brush that you want to uh change any kind of settings even including the polygon actions. All the other brushes, you do not want to change polygon action. We can even adjust the settings for the edges. Uh, I right click over an edge and let's say I press add curve. That'll be every time I use the edit, I'll have add curve for the edge. If I go over to the point, right click, and let's say press split. Now let's cycle through the brushes again. Now I'm over back to edit. So the key mesh is default here. If I hoover over the edge, it says add curve. And if I go over to a point, it says split. Everything gets saved. And you can do it with edges and points.